So coming in from the front, it's basically under the passenger door on a right hand drive. See this little panel here? There's two 20 foil Torexes. You're going to take the two out. It's already pretty loosened, so. so. Once you have the door down, take away on them little clips there. So it just slides in, and then the two. 20 there and the 20 on the other or 25 sorry on the other side you can pull the door down and you'll come across you'll have something like this so it looks like you've got to slide it back but you actually can't because it this trim actually stops it so take these two eight bolts out and then this can be just pulled down and out it's just a simple cover it's nothing fancy and then the fuel filter will sit in here. I actually have the fuel filter out. So you're gonna be left with something more. This is the new one, looks like this. So you're gonna undo this block connector here. So if you look at it, you can see you can push it, maybe pu I normally push them forward a little bit and then push them back, and you can get it off. And then this, so you push this white part back up. See it one loosens it, or and then you and you push this button in, and that can be pulled off. So actually, don't undo undone this side first. So you pull down this little tab. You can kind of see it there. It's a little bit awkward. So this tab here, so you you catch that and pull it down, and then press the button up. So you can actually see the mechanism moving. So it's. That's locked, pull it down, push it up. So what we'll be doing is we'll be fitting the new filter in, we're gonna go in this side first, and then push this tab down on the top. It's a little bit difficult to see, you can see it's up there now. So that locks it in place. Then we're gonna slide it onto this one, this side over here. Again, once it's in place and it's clipped in good, you're gonna push this, push this in. And you're going to put the block connector on last, that'll go on pretty handy, you can manipulate the wires a little bit there. Once you have it all snugged up in there, a little, you can just put it all back the way you can. And we'll go from there then. Just make sure there's no leaks. Otherwise, running the car with the, the new filter in, all buttoned up, just without the covers on, make sure there's no leaking. Oh, just on a side note, you will lose some diesel, so we can have something there. Just for it to drip into it's not going to be much but you will have some little leak